Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to do some athletic striking drills using a cold steel bat. We are not trying to replace any specific martial art in these videos that we're doing in this series. What we are doing is just trying to get people to do basic human things. Move their feet, not get hit, and hit things hard so that they can learn to line up. Most people do a lot of athletic training and they might do some med ball and some other stuff, but they never really learn to hit things unless they do martial arts. The problem with a lot of martial arts is that they don't take a lot of time to hit things with weapons. When you hit things with weapons, you learn a slightly different athletic skill. You learn to line up your grip your wrist and your shoulder and your core all in one movement. The more you do it and the harder you practice hitting, the more you use all the movement chains that you use in your athletic training, kettlebell training, heavy club training, mace training, hydro core training, and you learn to then apply that to distance, speed, and timing of striking with weapons. The reason we like to do this with weapons first is because it's actually easier for people to use weapons than it is to learn open hand stuff. Open hand requires a lot of different types of adaptation it's easy to teach people weapons very quickly and have them get a lot out of it, which they can then transfer to open hand or empty hand training later. For our target today, we are using a Rogue 30 pound med ball and we are using a Cold Steel Model CS29 Brooklyn Crusher bat. The reason we use these Brooklyn Crusher bats is because they don't have a lot of shock load with them and they're indestructible. You can hit them with sharp blades, you can hit them with real swords as hard as you want all day long forever. I have yet to see one of these things get hurt. They get chewed up if you hit them with live steel, but for the most part, they don't go bad. What we wanna do is apply what we've done in other videos with staffs to the bat. Because a bat is a club, the club is the original weapon of all of human civilization. So we are just gonna practice hitting this. I don't want you to hit it like this because I don't want that ball to move. I want you to figure out how to hit straight down on top of the target. And I want this to be perfectly level with the ground. Two hands on, you'll recognize this from mace training as being a two-handed shield cast to a squat. The difference is we're just dropping our arms down to hit the target. Shield cast, crush, shield cast, crush, shield cast, crush, shield cast, crush. In mace training, there are two parent movements for this. The most important move in mace training, the 360, also known as the two-handed shield cast, and the balance squat. We're working on a range of motion. You can combine those two things together to do a shield cast to a squat, a shield cast to a squat, and you can jack the weight up as high as necessary to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Think of the mace part as the strength training. Think of this part as the pure power training. If you were to think about it in National Academy of Sports Medicine terms, this would be like phase seven power training. Shield cast, squat, shield cast, squat, shield cast, squat. The point of the squat is I'm dropping my weight onto the target. You'll see people do this and try to do this and they will just bend forward. That works pretty well until they miss the target and the bat bounces up and hits them in the face. It's funny for everybody except for them. Don't do it. Think about right hand high going past our left ear. Then think about left hand high going past our right ear two separate drills. Every time you change the length or the weight of your lever, it changes the way your body works very slightly. So you should work with basic human levers, clubs, staffs, short metal clubs, which are really machetes, and learn to use those over and over and over again, and then take the athleticism from that and apply them to other sports or other martial training principles.